Hi everyone, this video is going to be a swatch, including lip swatches and first impressions review of a new e.l.f. product. This is going to be for their line of Sheer Slick Lipsticks, and they are currently available through e.l.f.'s website and through Target's website. I purchased mine through Target. I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can find them, as well as a link to Rakuten. That's a cash back system, so that if you are doing any online shopping, which is hopefully the only kind of shopping you're doing right now, unless you're going out for groceries or essentials. Um, if you do online shopping, that allows you to get cash back in your pocket. Nowadays, the percentages are a little bit lower because companies are having our time, but you still can get cash back on most websites. So I'll link both of those in the description box below. If you wanna see what these colors look like, what the formula is like, etc., then this is the video for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button and follow Allure Beauty on Instagram. There will be giveaways upcoming both on this channel and on the Instagram account. And just a shout out to the video for the Sephora VIB sale and my guides my recommendations specifically for products and general ways that you can maximize your discount. I'll put that link in the upper right hand corner for you to see too. If you haven't already checked it out, make sure you see it before the sale ends. All right, let's get to swatching and looking at ELF's new sheer slick lipsticks. So these retail for $5 each on Target's website. For some reason, they are $4.99. There are a total of six shades. For whatever reason, Target is only selling five of them, at least online, so I have those five for you to see here. The one shade that I do not have is called Cherry Slush, and Elf's description of this product says, this silky, slick lip formula was inspired by the summer days of biting into juicy, delicious fruit. Let this lipstick melt into your lips, leaving you with a sheer wash of color and a smooth, hydrated feel. And surprisingly, the ingredients list isn't too terribly long for these, and I don't see anything that is noticeably concerning, like drying alcohols or super strong fragrances, so that's also a good thing. So overall, these are supposed to have a formula that is hydrating. It's supposed to leave you with a smooth feel on the lips and give you a sheer wash of pigment. So let's keep those claims in mind as we swatch these, and especially as I apply them for the lip swatches, and I will also keep those in mind to give you my first impression thoughts at the end of the video. So each of the tubes is made of plastic and they are all slightly differently shaded to kind of reflect the shade of the lipstick inside. The boxes are slightly differently colored too, which is nice. And the name of each shade is on the front of the packaging. For the $5, you are getting 0 0.06 ounces or 1.9 grams of product. And these are cruelty-free and vegan. And on the product itself, it has the product name. And then on these stickers on the bottom, you have the shade name too. I often find that these stickers will fall off after a while, unfortunately. So the caps pop off like this. Uh, they don't click too strongly. So just be careful. I don't actually know how securely these will stay on if you say toss this in your purse. So the cap comes off. They have a kind of skinnier tube that twists out. This first shade here is grapefruit. Number two is orange crush. Number three is Wild Peach. Number four is Jammer Jelly. I think that's what it is. And number five is Dragon Fruit. All right, so the first shade we're swatching is Grapefruit, which is a medium pink shade. This next shade here is Orange Crush. And this is a red-orange coral shade. I'm not quite sure about Elf's choice in terms of shade names. And this one is Wild Peach. And this one seems to be pretty much just a lighter version, uh, slightly more pinky, a little less orange or red version. So it's like a slightly corally or orange corally peach color. 
this one it's J A M O R jelly jammer jelly this one is like a fuchsia shade and finally we have the shade dragon fruit which is more of a deeper carnation pink. This one's also the most pigmented of them. It has no solid color. It doesn't have that translucence that the other ones have. Okay, so there are your shades up close. You can see by the light that they all have this kind of glossy sheen to them, but they don't have any sort of shimmer particles or glitter particles inside. And I will say that they swatch very, very easily. They kind of melt onto the skin and slide over it without any sort of resistance. And even though most of them have kind of a translucence to the quality, it's um, there's no lacking in pigmentation for any of these shades. So here are my thoughts after swatching all of these on the lips. They have a super wearable, comfortable formula. They give a bit of moisture to the lips. They feel very lightweight. They are easy to apply and they glide really nicely across the lips. They are more pigmented than I think a lot of people will think they are because the name of the product is Sheer Slick Lipstick, but none of these is sheer at all. In fact, the last shade, as we kind of saw in the swatches, has, I don't think, almost any translucence to it, period. The first shade is also surprisingly lacking in any sort of sheerness or translucence. It's pretty opaque in finish, not quite as opaque as the last shade, which is Dragon Fruit, um, but the first shade, Grapefruit, is pretty, pretty freaking not transparent. Then the remaining three have varying degrees of translucence to them. So if you're thinking you're gonna get a truly sheer kind of jelly-like formula and color payoff with these, I would, I would just hesitate on that a little bit. But otherwise, these don't have any sort of fragrance to them. They look really comfortable and nice on the lips. They aren't gonna have the longest staying power because they do have a more moisturizing kind of balmy formula to them. So if you want something that's going to last all day, don't expect to get that out of this particular formula. So I think for $5, these are great. They have nice packaging, nice coloration, and a very nice formula too. So please let me know in the comment section below what you think of any of the shades or the formula or any other thoughts that you may have. Feel free to share them with us in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch and I'll see you in the next video.